I forgot to record on Friday. And then we'll get started. Soles of our feet together, knees out wide. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing in to a four count. Holding to a four count. And exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction, from the tops of your throats down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale. Two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and Exhale, two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale, knees to the left, arms to the right. Look over that right shoulder and breathe. Again, breathing into this simple twist, opening up those right obliques as you do.
Inhale, back to center. Exhale, knees to the right, arms to the left. Look over that left shoulder and breathe. Again, breathing into this simple twist, opening up those left obliques as you do. Inhale, back to center. Wrap your arms around your knees. Grab opposite elbows, rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your kidneys. And then grab your insteps, drag your knees down towards your shoulder blades. Push up with your feet, pull down with your hands. In happy baby. Again, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys as you do. And then cross that right leg over left, wrap your feet, right arm under left, wrap your arms. Actually, this is not what I wanted to do. Let's <laughs> think of something else. Unwrap. Unwind, bend your knees at a 90 degree angle. Arms are out east and west. Inhale first, flex those feet. Exhale as you allow your knees to come down to the left, but don't touch. Working those obliques. Inhale back to the center. Exhale down to the right, but don't touch. Inhale back to center, exhale down to the left. Inhale back to center, exhale down to the right. Inhale to center, exhale left. Inhale to center, exhale right. And again, two more or seven more. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale to center, exhale left. Inhale to center, exhale right. Again, you can stop here, follow us. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center, exhale right. Inhale center, exhale left. Inhale center, exhale right. Inhale center, exhale left. Inhale center, exhale right. Again. Three more, inhale center, exhale left. Inhale center, exhale right. Inhale center, exhale left. Inhale center, exhale right. One last time, inhale center, exhale left. Inhale, center, and exhale, right. Good job. Draw those knees back to center and draw them in for a hug. Rock back and forth. Good job. And then since it's Monday, let's go ahead and extend our legs below us. <clears throat> Push up your hips, place the sole of uh, the the palms of your hands underneath your buttocks. Walk those elbows in. Inhale as you push into the mat. Coming up onto the crowns of your heads in Matsyasana, fish pose. And again, breathing in and out, increasing our immunity. Again, opening up that area between your rib cages, opening up your sinuses. Let's inhale through our noses, side out as we stick out our tongues three times, lion's breath, inhale. 
Again, inhale. And one last time, inhale. Then inhale as you push into your elbows, coming down onto the backs of your heads. Exhale as you roll over onto the left side, left elbow, left palm of your hand down. Inhale that right knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you, drag that right shoulder back and down. Breathing in and out. Again, in infinity pose, maybe grab on to that calf and drag it towards you if this is in your practice. Inhale that right knee in. Exhale, extend below you. Roll over onto the right side, right elbow, right palm of your hand down. Inhale that left knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you. Drag that left shoulder back and down. Breathing in and out, maybe grab on to your calf and drag your knee in, drag your leg in. Again, in infinity pose. Inhale that knee in, exhale, extend below you. Draw your knees in, place your hands behind your thighs. Spinal rolls from shoulder to tailbone and back again. Allowing each vertebra to come back into alignment. We'll do three or four of these and arrive at the tops of our mats in Sukhasana. Simple seated pose, crisscross applesauce. And then grab on to each knee. Sit with your crown directly above your root chakra. And then gently start moving in circles in a clockwise direction. Maybe close your eyes, opening up your spines as you do. As you move forward, breathe out. As you move backward, breathe in. And again, these are Kundalini circles. We're imagining that white light rising from your root chakra to your sacral, to your solar plexus, to your heart, to your throat, to your third eye, all the way up to your crown chakra, and then shooting out through the top of your head. And again, these circles get bigger and bigger as you move outward, but don't go back too far. Imagine yourselves like satellite dishes, drawing in all of that pure white energy. But keep your neck safe. Again, don't go back too far until you feel as though you could almost touch your chins to the mat in front of you. And then slowly move back out. Smaller and smaller circles as you do. Thank you. 
till we finally arrive at center and gently stop. Slowly start moving in the opposite direction, small circles at first, getting larger and larger as they move outward. And again, remember to breathe, breathing out as you move forward. In as you move back. Opening up our spines, moving them six different directions in these Kundalini circles. And imagining that white light rising. Take each breath and take the left and right. All your life, you are only waiting for this moment. Until you feel as though you could almost touch your chin to the mat or the floor in front of you. And start moving towards center. All your life, you are only waiting for this moment to be free. on the mat. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale as you bend your elbow, placing the palm of your hand in between your shoulder blades. Inhale that left arm up, grab onto your right elbow and drag it over to the left. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale down. Inhale that left arm up. Exhale as you bend your elbow. Inhale that right arm up. Grab your elbow and exhale over to the right. Looking up towards the left. Breathing in and out. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale down. Place your hands on the mat. Roll up into table. In table, our shoulders are above our wrists, our hips are above our knees, and if we look between our legs, we shouldn't see our feet. Let's go ahead and inhale 
and slowly drag your spines down, look up towards the ceiling into cow. Your spine should feel open right now after those kundalini circles. Exhale, bend your elbows as you transition into cat, gazing at your navel. Inhale. Modified bow pose. Exhale down. Inhale that left arm straight out. Right leg goes back. Flex your foot. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out. Wrap that left arm around. Bend your knee. Grab onto your ankle and pull up. Into modified dancer, modified bow pose. Exhale down. Good job. And then from here, curl your toes under. Sit back on your heels. Hands start making infinity symbols. Breathing in and out. And smile. It's Monday, Indigenous Peoples Day, as well as a Canadian bank holiday. Former Columbus Day. Kind of glad that we've gotten rid of Columbus Day, actually. I think that that's appropriate. And a beautiful day to get out and go hiking. And I get to see Alix in just a few days, which is very, well, Alix and Michael in just a few days, which is very exciting. Again, either stay there, draw your arms overhead and the Utita, drive that pelvis bone in. Possibly draw your fingertips behind you. Fingertips touch, pushing your fingertips up towards the crowns of your heads. Again, opening up your fingers, opening up your wrists. Opening your shoulders and your toes. Breathing in and out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, 
three, two, one. Rock forward on your elbows. Slap on your toes. Good job. Plant those palms into the mat. Curl your toes under. Inhale first. Exhale back to down dog. Maybe walking the dog. Again, dragging first one heel and then the other down towards the mat, opening up your calf muscles. Inhale that right leg all the way up, three-legged dog split. Exhale, swing that knee through to your left elbow. Inhale back. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale back, one more time, cross over, inhale back, exhale right elbow, inhale back, exhale knee to nose, inhale back, stack your hips, bend your knee, rotate that knee backwards and forwards, Open up your hip. While you're at it, rotate that foot backwards and forwards. Open up your ankle. And then if this is in your practice, flip over into wild thing. Maybe place your hand on your heart in wild thing. Good job. Roll over. Place that right hand in the center of the mat and open up to side plank. Maybe draw that left hand overhead. Maybe lift your left leg. And then from here, roll over. <clears throat> We're in plank now, shoulders just above our wrists. Inhale first. Draw those elbows in. Five, four, three, two, one. Down to the mat. Good job. And then from here, extend your arms in front of you. We're moving into locus. Inhale, as you lift your hands, maybe rocking back and forth. Hopefully the floor is not too painful below you. Got some padding there. And then draw those hands back to a 45 degree angle. Open up even more. Exhale down, right cheek comes down to the mat. Good job. Bend your knees, grab onto your ankles. Inhale as you push up again into bow pose. Maybe rocking back and forth as you do. Exhale down, placing that left cheek on the mat. Inhale, as you place your hands on the mat at shoulder height, curl your toes under. Exhale all the way back to down dog. Walking the dog, inhale through your noses, side out. Inhale. One more time, inhale. Inhale, that left leg all the way up. Exhale, swing it through to your right elbow. Inhale, back. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back. Exhale, right elbow. 
Inhale back. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale back. Exhale, knee to nose. Good job. Inhale back. Stack your hips. Bend your knee. Rotate your foot first. Backwards and forwards, open up that ankle. Then rotate your knee backwards and forwards, open up your hip. Then flip over into wild thing. If this is in your practice, maybe placing your left hand on your heart. Then rotate over, placing that left hand in the center of the mat. Opening up to side plank. Draw that right arm overhead. Maybe lift that right leg. And then move forward. Back into plank. Inhale first. Exhale five, four, three, two, one. Down to the mat. Come up on your elbows in Sphinx Pose. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend your left knee, look back at your left foot. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you look back at your right foot. Inhale back. Exhale, look back at your left foot. Inhale to center. Exhale, look back at your right foot. Inhale, back to center. Place your hands at shoulder height. Curl your toes under. Exhale, all the way back to down dog again. Inhale through your noses, side out. Inhale. One more time. Inhale. Come up on your tippy toes. Bend your knees. Look towards the front of the mat. Step or jump up. Inhale halfway up to Arda. Exhale down to Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Slightly bend your knees, inhale all the way up. Swung that backward, hands come together. Slight back bend. Hands come to Anjali Mudra, bowing our heads in honor of our practices. Good job. Let's do some balance. Starting in Tadasana, mountain pose. I love this time of the year. I can't tell you how wonderful it feels to be out in the outside when it's just beautiful out the way that it is now. It just changes everything about my <laughs> outlook on life. It's just so wonderful. And everything comes out. All of the deer are out in the middle of the day instead of in the late evening. There are butterflies everywhere. Everything is just beautiful. And I'm just so grateful that it's once again fairly cool here. Starting in Tadasana, mountain pose. I love being outside here. It's one of my favorite things. Oh, also another wonderful thing about this time of the year is that as it gets colder, the rattlesnakes start going underground. Not that I ever want to hurt a rattlesnake, but it's easy to come up on one when you're hiking. That doesn't happen in the winter time. Drop 
bow your hands to Anjali Mudra. Come up on your right tippy toe. Draw your right heel to your left ankle, to your left calf, or to your left thigh. Again, Vrikshasana A, B, or C. Oh my goodness, this is just so wonderful. I mean, it's only gonna get cooler too, which is just so great. Inhale, both arms all the way up into Talasana or Palm Tree. Draw your hands together in the Utita. And exhale down. Draw your knee to a marching position. Flex your foot. And then inhale those arms all the way up into Stork. Draw your hands together in the Utita. Good job. But while we're in the Utita, if this is in your practice, extend that right leg, flex your foot, and hold it, hold it, hold it. Bend your knee. Exhale as you draw those hands to Anjali Mudra, but keep holding that leg up. Inhale first, hold it, hold it, hold it. And exhale down. Good job, everyone. Let's do the other side again, starting in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Draw those hands to Anjali Mudra. Come up on that left tippy toe. Draw your left heel to your right ankle, to your right calf, or to your right thigh. Rikshasana A, B, or C. Inhale both arms all the way up into Talasana, palm tree, Utita, and down. Draw your knee into a marching position. Flex your foot. Inhale those arms up overhead. Into stork. Putita. And then when we're here, maybe extend that leg. Hold it, hold it, hold it. As you flex your foot. Exhale those hands down. Inhale first. And exhale all the way down. Good job. Shake it out. And then from here, come up to the tops of your mat. Inhale your arms all the way up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway up. <clears throat> Take a giant step back just with your left foot. Stay up on your toes. Inhale, up to crescent. Sit back in your crescent. Look up towards your third eye, pinky fingers in. Exhale to the right. Inhale, the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale down. Step back with that right foot and go through your vinyasa or beat us in down dog. Come up on your tippy toes, bend your knees, look towards the front of the mat, 
Step or jump up. Inhale, halfway up. Arda, making space. Exhale down to Uttanasana. Slightly bend your knees. Inhale, all the way up. Swan dive backward. Hands come together. Slight back bend. Hands come to Anjali Mudra. Again, inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway up. And then take a giant step back with your right foot. Inhale, up to crescent. Stick up on that right toe. Pinky fingers in. Sit down in your crescent. Open up. East and west to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale those arms down. Kick that left leg back. Go through your vinyasa. Or meet us in down dog. Again, walking the dog. Inhale. Put that right leg all the way up. Legged dog split. Exhale to the top left of your mat. Right knee down, left knee down, left top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Possibly take Venus Mudra. And exhale forward. Coming down on that left cheek. If this is in your practice, again, you can also be on your right cheek. You can be wherever you want to. Breathing in and out. Opening up that right hip. Releasing any unwanted emotion, letting it just melt down into the mat, into the floor, into the ground beneath your house. Say goodbye to it. We don't need that.
slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again, coming off on that right hip. Swing your left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to your right thigh. Bring that right foot in and that right elbow in. Inhale that left arm up and around. Find your right hip crease. Possibly take a bind if this is in your practice. Drag those shoulders back and down as you do. And smile. It's Monday and it's beautiful out. It might be a holiday. Should be a holiday for everybody. <clears throat> Maybe not in France, though. It's not a holiday for Ella. <laughs> Inhale back to center. Keep your knees stacked. Blades of your feet are on the mat. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I don't know where the time has flown. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, reach, 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 reach. All the way down. Fingertips first and then your third eye. Humbly bowing cow's face. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Press into the mat with the palms of your hands and the blades of your feet. Extend your legs. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk your hands to the right all the way around. Up on your tippy toes, knees down, hips down, sit up straight. Again in cow space. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 all the way down. as you walk those hands back again. Press into the mat with the palms of your hands and the blades of your feet. Inhale first and exhale as you walk all the way around. Once again, up on your tippy toes, cross your knees, knees down, hips down, sitting up straight. Good job. Extend your legs, shake them out up to the tops of your mats in Malasana Yogi Squat. Again, you can stay here, maybe try out Vakasana if you'd like to, don't feel like you have to. Building arm strength, core strength, and bone density. You can stay there or inhale from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra and exhale down again. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Place your hands on the mat. Inhale halfway up to Arda. Take a giant step back with that right foot. Walk that left foot all the way across. Left knee down. Right knee down. Right top of foot down. Maybe take the missed right Inhale first. Exhale. Humbly bow yourselves. And again, you can be on your right cheek, left cheek, elbows, backs, wherever you are, opening up that left hip, releasing any unwanted emotion <coughs> that you may be storing on that left hip. Breathing in and out in resting pigeon. Inhale as you walk those hands back again, coming up on that left hip. Swing your light. Right leg all the way around. Right foot is parallel to your left thigh. Bring that left 
in, that left elbow in, inhale that right arm up and around. Find your left hip crease. Possibly take a bind in the Mariandasana twist. Inhale back to center. Extend your legs. Shake them out. Good job. Bend your knees. Arms are out on either side of your knees. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch. Down to the mat. And when you get there, draw those knees in for a much deserved hug. Rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs. Take your block in hand. Place your heels just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push your hips up, placing that block underneath your sacrum on the highest second or third levels. Maybe walk your feet out. Possibly draw your arms overhead in a T formation or a mushroom formation. <clears throat> Draw those arms back overhead, walk your feet in. Inhale as you push your hips up, release the block and exhale down. Draw those knees in for a hug. And then from here, either legs straight up or push your hips up, walk your shoulders under in a shoulder stand allowing the circulation to come back down to your vital organs, back down to your brain. Draw those toes overhead in Halasana or Cow Pose. Maybe draw your knees around your ears in Ear Pressure Pose or Snail Pose. And then inch by inch, vertebra by vertebra coming down to the mat, draw those knees in, cross that right leg over left, wrap your feet, arms are out east and west, inhale first, exhale down to the left, look over that right shoulder. Inhale, back to center, unwrap, unwind. Give yourselves a hug. Then cross that left leg over right, wrap your feet, arms are out east and west, and exhale down to the right. Look over that left shoulder and breathe. Inhale, back to center, unwrap, unwind. Give yourselves a hug. Inhale through your nose to side out. Inhale. One more time. Inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso. Palms are up to receive, down to ground, starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hands, your fingers, your, relax your hands, relax your wrists. Relax your torsos. <clears throat> Relax your forearms, relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders, relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks, relax your foreheads, relax the crowns of your heads, just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. 
Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position, facing the front of the room, legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of our practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Monday, Canadian Bank Holiday Indigenous People Day. Have a wonderful rest of the day. And I am sending so much love to Carly Elizabeth Hughes, who is the daughter of Irene, one of my very close friends. It's her birthday today. And I know that she is um, having a blast with all of our kids. Sending all of you love. Namaste. Thank you all. Hope everybody's going to have a wonderful day that you're going to do something fun, fun, fun today. <laughs> I just feel so excited about this weather. I can't tell you how wonderful it is. <laughs> and it's so nice to see all of you. And I remember.